What's up, everybody? Uh, we're going to talk interfaces today, and actually, in particular, one interface from Behringer, which I've owned for years, and I highly recommend. It is uh, the Behringer Euphoria 404, and uh, as you can see from this thing, it is solid, uh, and Behringer is a, um, a fantastic company. They make really good gear. Uh, they're known for making uh, high-quality gear. But the thing about this that I love, not only is it um, just a just a solid uh, interface, and we'll talk about whether or not you need an interface, um, it has four inputs at a very, very affordable price. So if you're a little bit more on a budget and you're seeing some of these interfaces that are uh, higher in, in dollars, you've come to the right place. The Behringer 404 uh, Euphoria here is something I highly recommend. So I'm going to walk you through some of this really quickly. So you may, you may be asking yourself, uh, why would I need uh, an interface? Um, well, if you have uh, a podcast and uh, it's just you solo and you have a USB mic, yeah, you probably don't need an interface. Uh, if you have a microphone, a more higher quality microphone like a Shure SM7B, those are, um, those are XLR microphones. And so you're going to need an interface because you can't plug an XLR into your computer. What's an XLR? It's a traditional microphone cable, which I'm grabbing right now. And this is what your traditional microphone cable looks like. It's this three-prong deal that uh, that you've seen um, as you know it's considered a traditional microphone. But if you have two USB microphones, you can't plug those in at the same time into your computer. You will need an interface. And so I was doing a podcast, and I needed to have there was four people uh, doing the podcast, and so I needed an interface at a, an affordable price. And so I took a shot. Uh, on this and I was rewarded this thing is a fantastic interface I've used it in band situations where I needed multiple inputs for drums guitar vocals bass um, and this this will handle that as well if you need that in a pinch so I'll show you really quickly the um, just kind of the inputs here as you can see if you've never seen an input like this and I showed you the the mic cable and you're looking, well, I, this doesn't look like a three-prong input. Basically, this will hold both a uh, microphone cable as well as a traditional quarter-inch instrument cable. So if I, I've got this microphone cable right here. I'll go ahead and plug this puppy into one side, and then I will plug a traditional microphone into the other side of the cable and show you how this will work. If I can get it in, there we go. So now we've got a microphone. Uh, I've, go I've gone ahead and plugged this into my computer, although you won't be able to hear me when I speak into this particular microphone that I just plugged in. But this will just show you how it works. I'm speaking right now into this microphone, and you can see it's already starting to blink. And so I'm going to hold this up, and you can see it's green, it's green, it's green. But as I start to talk louder, you may see that clip. You see that go uh, red and clip? So if I'm not going to speak that loud, maybe I put the gain, which is this knob right here, up a little bit, and now you can see it clips more easily. So you want to you want to crank that back and be safe. And if you're uh, using this in your computer, you want to be somewhere between negative 6 and negative 12 dB to be safe, that you're not distorting because you can't really uh, fix that. Um, and uh, you're loud enough that, it, that it's usable audio. So that's plugging in a microphone, but I'm going to go ahead, unplug. Well, I'll leave that plugged in for now. Why not? and show you how it works if I were to plug in an instrument right now. So if I wanted to play along uh, with a keyboard part, I could just take this end of a traditional quarter inch, or I can grab one of these bases that's on the wall behind me, plug that in, and it works very easily, plugs in. There's one thing you got to realize, is, and you plug this other end, obviously, into the instrument. Um, you have to realize here that there is a button here, and one, and one says line and one says instrument. Um, the line is what you use for microphone. The instrument is what you use for plugging in an instrument cable. So um, line is considered the microphone, and instrument, you would go ahead and push this in. And now it, it's got a setting for gain for you know what is an, an instrument when you're plugging in a quarter-inch cable. Of course, it has a headphone out. 
as well. A lot of uh, interfaces that you see um, have these features. These are not uh, exclusive to the, to the Behringer uh, Euphoria 404, um, but it has uh, most of, if not all of, the bells and whistles. The only thing it does not come with that a lot of interfaces will, uh, like a Scarlett uh, 2i2 or some others, is software. And so it does not, it does not bundle in any software. To me, I, I use software um, outside of uh, both of those anyway, so that's inconsequential to me. I use a different uh, piece of software. And the software that comes with other interfaces are usually like a lighter bundle kind of version that in order for you to get really the bells and whistles, you're going to need to upgrade and, and pay that anyway. So um, this also has a MIDI in and out if you're using this for any sort of MIDI devices, keyboards and whatnot. Um, this also has lots of playback outputs that you can come in and out your main um, out if you've got powered speakers like a lot of studios do you can come in and out of that as well these preamps are solid um, they're they're are there better preamps in in other interfaces yes um, are you going to get something that is very good at a very affordable price with this 100 percent couldn't recommend this uh, more highly i use it all of the time, it's the Behringer Euphoria UMC 404 HD, and I hope this helps you.